2023 CMA Entertainer of the Year is Lainey Wilson. That is Lainey Wilson winning Entertainer of the Year, but this is actually my favorite part of her CMA night. It came earlier when she won Female Vocalist of the Year. For all you little girls watching and, and for the ones that are here tonight too, it's something that I'm doing. I, I'm getting up every single day and I'm looking at myself in the mirror and saying, I am beautiful, I'm smart, I'm talented, I'm godly, I'm fearless. If somebody tells me I can't do it, hold my beer, watch this. Was it a surprise? Maybe. But was it deserved? When you ask Lainey's peers, they'll emphatically say, hell yeah. After Lainey won, we went back and found this old Taste of Country story about Lainey. It's our first interview with her, conducted before she had signed a recording contract, and I think it's the first story to talk about the camper that she used to live in in West Nashville. There's a pretty wild story behind all of that, but I think that's for another day. Some of her earliest songwriting took place right there in that camper. Future superstars like Luke Combs and Hardy would pull up to her camper to do some writing. I'm not joking, y'all. It was about as humble as it gets. About a year ago, she actually shared some pictures and video from a long forgotten songwriting session with Luke. Saving you, saving me. When you hear this story, you start to fully appreciate the parallel she drew on CMA night between breaking her first horse, Tex, and surviving long enough to thrive as a woman in country music. I tell you what, there were times where I, I was crying and I wanted to get down. I'm like, let me off the back of this thing, but y'all, every time it would start bucking, I'd hold on a little bit tighter. Which one is she talking about? You really can't tell, can you? Thumbs up this video if that moment brought you to tears, and consider tapping that subscribe button if you appreciate this kind of original country music news, analysis, and interviews. Jelly Roll is another artist who's watched Laney work, Remember, he had a great night at the CMA Awards as well. I mean, this speech is another all-timer. I want to tell you that the windshield is bigger than the rearview mirror for a reason. Both of these artists scored Grammy nominations, by the way, so next year should be pretty wild. Talking to Taste of Country, he didn't want to talk about his wins as much as he did hers. I mean, first of all, let's start with praise and Laney, man. I mean, I, I, I pride myself on being a really hard worker. I've never seen nobody... He's talking to Evan Paul from Taste of Country Nights, by the way. And in the description section, I've dropped links to this full interview, which includes his thoughts on Winona, who appeared to be having struggles during their performance together. There's also a link to the new Taste of Country store in that space, which I'll talk more about shortly. But if you love this Wallen and Hardy for 24 t-shirt, that's where you gotta go to find it. I've never seen nobody. I, this is what I say to people. I do the stuff that other people in this town won't do. Lainey Wilson does the stuff I won't do. She is willing. She is working. In a moment, Jelly also reveals that your girl plays hard when she's done working hard. In fact, the CMA after party sounded really amazing, but he only shared that story after lauding her professionalism. I've seen her at American Idol in January of this year, Evan. This is a true story. And when I see her, I could tell she was a little frazzled. And I was like, you okay? She just pulled up. She's running late. She was like, man, I had to wake up at five o'clock this morning to catch a flight and had a layover such and such for five hours. She said, and I leave here and I got a 4 a.m. flight tomorrow to do a corporate show at three in the afternoon and then I fly to another city to do Luke Combs. These were commercial flights. This girl was running on fumes. I mean, it's in, her work ethic is next level. That was how she started the year. And she'd add that she probably played about 180 concerts in 2023. Plus she did endless media and photo shoots and glammed up for several television commercials. Lainey was all over the television on CMA night, performing, winning, and TV commercials for Wrangler and Stella Rosa. Those things all come at the expense of PTO. And sure, do other artists do this? Absolutely. Do other artists do this as much? No. In an editorial called Here's Why Lainey Wilson Won 2023 CMA Entertainer of the Year, I pointed out that only she and Luke Combs met with media during the annual Radio Row, and that's important. Listen. Actual people vote for these awards, and people have a tendency to vote for the people that treat them well. It's just human nature. Jelly Roll was also there, and frankly, it wouldn't surprise me to see him nominated for Entertainer of the Year in 2024. Man, we partied, dude. It was cool. We, uh, me and Laney threw our own party. We were just, I was like, look, because every other awards show, I went and did the rounds. You know, I went to everybody's party, and I was like, I just want to sit somewhere and get stoned. 
So Miranda Lambert let us use her bar. And I sat up on the balcony of the Casa Rosa and we had a ball. Cane's or uh, chicken uh, catered it. We had an enchilada bar. We had Cane's chicken. Uh, Al Dean and Brittany came through, which I thought was really cool. Kelsey and Chase came and hung out. Um, TJ Osborne came. I'm sure none of these people mind me telling this. I hope not. Big name drop right here. Catch them. Just throwing them everywhere. Big name drops. <laughs> um, it was cool, man. I can't even remember. I mean, it was so many artists that came through and said hello. It was it was really flattering. I hope you can tell I really enjoy breaking down country music news, events, and interviews in this kind of way. We do it for the fans, which is why we've designed this brand of t-shirts and merchandise for the fans. The Wall and Hardy t-shirt is but one item you can find at the Taste of Country store. I kind of want this Dolly and Reba for 2024 yard sign, but there's more non-artist merch in there too. Take a look when you can. It's the best way to directly support this YouTube channel. I'm Billy Dukes for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.